Dave at No Rest Free Required, and today we're going to continue with our NFL Burger Series with the, uh, with the Green Bay Packers. Now, as I did a little bit of research for this, I found a few different things. I found cheddar, Wisconsin, found beer, who doesn't like a good beer, and I found brats is uh, three really popular Wisconsin Green Bay ingredients, so we're going to incorporate them all into this burger. I'm going to use the brats kind of as a uh, substitute bacon, great kind of salty flavor there. Uh, we've got a, a cheddar cheese sauce that is actually made with beer. We're going to, of course, we'll simmer the brats off in that beer as well. Some onions on top. It's an absolutely spectacular burger. I think you're going to love it. I hope it's some of the best of Green Bay. Let's go ahead and get started. Green Bay fans, let's go ahead and start our burger. And Actually, I'm going to start it by starting our brats. Um, I've got just a pan here, a little bit of olive oil, butters, probably a little more traditional. I'm going to add a couple, not a couple, like a, a sliced onion, one sliced onion. And I'm just going to saute the, um, the onion down with a little bit of salt over medium heat until it is um, wilted down, kind of nice and soft. The onions become translucent. And we're going to come back, add a little bit of beer to this, and uh, boil our brats, uh, or simmer our brats, I'll say, in the, uh, in the beer. All right, so while our onions cook down for our um, brat bath, we're going to go ahead and make our patty for our Green Bay burger. I'm using a, uh, a beef patty. I'm going to go kind of light on the meat. I'll take a little bit out there. This is maybe a third of a pound because I'm going to add some pretty thick slices of that brat on top and um, even I can have a little too much. So I'm going to go ahead and just make it out ahead of time. Before we cook it off, I'm going to let it come up to room temperature. And I like to put, as I always do, a little dimple in the middle, which is going to help the burger um, keep from shrinking. All right, so after like seven or eight, ten minutes, you're going to get um, your, ca your carrots. These are not carrots. These are onions. Wilted down. They're starting to become translucent. A little bit of brown on there is uh, no worries at all. You don't need to get it there. And then I've got a beer here, a little PBR. And I'm going to add that right to the onions a few inches deep. I'm going to let that come up to temperature. I'm going to get some pepper in there as well. And then grab whatever your favorite brats are. I'm just going to drop mine in. We'll do, we'll do two and a, oh, we'll have to find that one. Um, what, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just stir that, we'll stir that pepper quickly in there. I'm gonna bring this up to um, just barely a simmer. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to boil it. Light, light simmer for about seven to 10 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, my brats have just simmered in the, uh, in the beer and the onions for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. You don't want to go too aggressive on here. You don't want to pop any skins. They're good to go. You just kind of set them aside, keep them on low heat while we um, cook the rest of our burger. So to make our cheddar sauce, we're going to go ahead and start with a, a roux, which is really nothing more than flour I got here and a little bit of fat. Now I'm using olive oil and the reason why you can't use butter. And uh, I'm going to combine them in equal parts and just mix it together until it forms a, uh, you know, a bit of a paste. You can always add a little bit more flour if you need to or a little bit more, or a little bit more um, butter or oil. You're just looking for a, um, again, a, a paste-like consistency. I'm going to cook it over medium to um, you know, medium-low heat for about five minutes or so, which is going to take out that raw flavor of the flour. And this is going to be the thickening agent for our sauce. We'll add the beer to this, and um, that will be the base of our sauce, to which we'll add the cheddar cheese. All right, so for our Green Bay burger, I've got our patty here. I'm just going to lay it down into a um, pan I've got over medium, medium-high heat. Obviously, salt and pepper on both sides, a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And then um, I've also got our brats right here. I like to, you know, they're fully cooked in the beer, but I like to take them out, just lay them down in the pan, get a little bit of color on all sides of the, uh, of the brats, because that helps, I think, enhance the flavor a little bit. I also like the, uh, like the texture. So our brats have now been working for, you know, just two or three minutes per side. This is the kind of color that you're looking for. So here we go. It's time to flip our burger over. It's uh, been about two or three minutes. I got a nice sear on one side, and you can tell my brats are getting nice and dark. They'll come off, you know, essentially now. I just want to get a little bit of color on them. I'm going to flip this over, burger over, cook for another two minutes, and um, we can go ahead and make our, uh, make our sauce. So while my burger finishes cooking over here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make our cheddar cheese sauce. We've got a roux right here that we started earlier, and our beer, uh, beer and onion broth that we cooked off. And I'm just going to slowly ladle that broth into the roux, and uh, I'm going to stir as it goes. You know, as soon as the uh, as soon as the broth hits that roux, the flour and the butter, it's going to thicken 
pretty quickly. And as it thickens, I'm just going to continue to add liquid and continue to stir as we go. Stir, stir, stir. And then um, as it thickens, just like I said, keep adding a little bit more broth. As it comes to a boil, it's going to thicken again. You repeat that process until essentially you get to the thickness that you want. All right, so here we go with the uh, with our well pre-sauce, right? We've got our beer, we've got our roux all mixed together here, and we've stirred it together. We've gotten it to essentially the consistency that I want. If you ever need to thin it out, just add a little bit more stock. If you need to um, thicken it, you can just let it reduce down for, for a little bit longer. So what we're gonna do now is grab our good old shredded Wisconsin cheddar. Oh, don't forget to turn the heat off because uh, you don't really want to add the cheese with the heat. But here we got the cheese. We're going to add that to our sauce and that's just going to melt into the sauce and just form this wonderful, creamy and delicious yellow cheddar sauce. Um, again, absolutely spectacular. I don't mind, by the way, if, a, if an onion or two slipped into the, uh, into the sauce. Not really a big deal. Once this melts together, you just got to kind of keep it warm so it doesn't um, uh, thicken up too much on you. And then we're, we're essentially ready to plate up our burger. All right, so we've got our brats here that have just cooled down enough so I can handle. It's certainly still warm. And I like to slice them now into, you know, kind of thin strips. Again, these are going to be uh, my bacon substitute on our burger. Of course, you can use as much or as, middle, as little as you like. I like maybe, you know, three of these strips per burger. But by all means, use a little more, use a little less. All right, let's go ahead and plate up our burger. We've got our bun, of course. I'm going to lay our, uh, our brats down. Again, three or four slices uh, is what I like. And we'll go ahead and put our patty down on top of the uh, on top of the brats. We've got our cheddar cheese sauce, which is nice and luscious, delicious. I'm going to ladle that on. Again, as generous as you want, as uh, sparse as you want. I like it generous, of course. And then you know what? I don't mind grabbing a few of those onions that we braised the uh, the beer in as well, and just drape those kind of all over the whole thing as well. Absolutely spectacular texture and flavor of these onions. Um, I think this is a hell of a burger. Let's go ahead and plate it. All right, here we go. Let's slice into this baby. It looks absolutely delicious. We got those brats, the onions, the cheese sauce, all coming together in a perfection of Wisconsin love. And I will see you next time on No Recipe Required. Hey there, Packers fans. I hope you love this brat, beer, and cheddar burger. I absolutely loved making it. It was very cool coming up with uh, the combinations and the ingredients of the burger. Obviously, tasted great. Go ahead, uh, check out my NFL Burger Series if you haven't done so already, and subscribe for uh, new burgers as I put them up. And I'm putting up a new video every single week as well. Always easy, always quick, fast, easy, delicious recipes. So uh, please, give me a subscribe. And you know what? The technique I used here to make that cheddar sauce it's the same to make all kinds of cheese sauces, like an Alfredo sauce. People are sometimes intimidated by a homemade Alfredo. You'll see how easy it is. Check out the link here, and I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.